彼は自分に向けて言ったあ<笑> That must be some daiquiri over there. What's up, guys? It's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today we're gonna watch some Japanese animation, or anime as some people call it. And this one is about cocktails, and、uh, it's simply called Bartender. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and、uh, let's go check this video out. その習慣が10年、20年も続くと、店も席を開けてお客様をお待ちすることに。I haven't seen that practice here in the US,、uh, not, at least not yet, but I have visited、uh, some old bars in the US that have、uh, names of regulars on placards that are drilled into the bar itself. So I'm wondering if this is a play off of that culture or this is a, a completely unique thing、uh, in Japan. いらっしゃいませ、島岡様。So whenever someone enters the bar, you always、uh, welcome them in. And yeah, so apparently the bartender knows this person's name, so we can assume that this is a regular. So that towel the bartender gave to the guests is called an oshibori, and it's a warm towel that's given to the guests to allow them to clean up before they、uh, eat or drink. At the bar or restaurant. And it's a practice used in hospitality in Japan for like a long, long time. So, that's kind of funny. He said he violated three of those ten commandments of being at a bar because I'm sure in the United States that's pretty much some of the main reasons that people go to a bar. The attention to detail of this animation is like incredible. The Technique alone is like better than a lot of these cocktail videos on YouTube. <laughs> Margarita が誕生したのは1949年の全米カクテルコンテストでのこと。発表したのはロサンゼルスのレストランテールオコックのバーテンダージャンデュレッサ。So. There's a lot of stories that go e s behind the origins of a lot of、um, classic cocktails that are served at bars,、uh, including the margarita. And the margarita is one of those drinks that has a lot of origin stories. And this is actually one of them. ここ This is a very popular way of consuming tequila shots in the United States, but it's actually not traditional in Mexico at all. In Mexico, a shot of tequila is usually chased, by,、uh, chased with a sangria, which is a mix of citrus, spices,、uh, tomato juice, sometimes Worcestershire. It's like, almost like a small chaser of、uh, Bloody Mary mix. So, the reason why this,、uh, you know, chasing the、uh, shot of tequila with salt and lime juice is very popular in the US was because a lot of the tequila that became popular、uh, in the United States was not that good. And that was a way of killing the finish so that, you know, it, it wouldn't taste so bad. In Mexico, if you really want a high quality, um, uh, uh, 100% agave、uh, tequila. One, you don't want to take a shot out of it. And two, you don't ever want to kill the finish of a, of a very premium tequila with any citrus at all. It should just be drunk neat. Wakai o kak sama no naka niwa, shot gun to itte, tan san to tequila o ire, counter ni uchi tskete, ikki ni nondari mo shimas.
<laughs> so I haven't seen this practice in real life in years. I, I can't even remember the last time I seen it. Uh, they refer to it as a tequila shotgun. I think in the United States we call that a tequila slammer. 1970年、このカクテルを生んだバーテンダー、ジャンデュレッサーは、コンクールから30年経って、初めてマルガリータが死んだ恋人の名前だったと取材に答えたそうです。つまり、エピソードは宣伝のためなんかじゃなかった。So as lovely and uh, tear-jerking as this particular story is, it's still being disputed on whether or not it's true because there are a lot of stories that you know have the margarita as being named as some lover former lover uh, a customer that uh, that's a regular they're all still you know there's still a lot of uh, claims on who came up with the name or the cocktail margarita but in the end there's actually one very simple explanation not to like ruin the mystique of this drink but it's, the margarita is based off of a drink called the daisy it's most likely that a bartender in the United States went to Mexico and just made a tequila daisy. And, you know, in fact, the word margarita means daisy in Spanish. So whether or not these stories are true or not, it's still fun to, like, talk about them. Etude. <laughs> It's called bartender mind reading. We know what you're going to order next. Now, Martini. So the interesting about the Martini in Japan, they, uh, you know, in the U.S. we order it either with olives or a twist, but in Japan they do both. プースカフェスタイルにしてもらおうか。はい。プースカフェスタイル。それは非常の違う材料を混ざらないように重ねる作り方。そうしゅ。I've So in Japan, a lot of the bars don't have ice machines because the space is so limited. So they would actually have to order blocks of ice that would be delivered to them. And they would have to uh, chip away the ice block for the drinks. So yeah, a lot of them are going to be shards like that where it's not going to be even. Or sometimes if you want to go really fancy, they'll cut them into these perfect uh, cubes. Uh, sometimes even spheres. And uh, if you want to go even like towards a fancy route, sometimes they'll even cut uh, diamonds out of these uh, ice blocks. So this is the Mizuwari. It's a precursor to the highball. Basically, it's a preparation that's used uh, to uh, prepare sake, to dilute it. And when distilled spirits became popular in Japan, naturally that was what they thought of. They thought, oh, let's drink a Mizuwari. So it's going to be a whiskey uh, diluted uh, with uh, still water and stirred until diluted. And the highball is very similar except that it uses soda water instead of still water. ラムにライムジュースとグレープフルーツ。そして最後にマラスキーノというチェリーリキュールを少々。Is he gonna make a frozen Hemingway daiquiri? これは。お待たせいたしました。Hemingway daiquiriです。Yeah, I guessed it. じいさん。と彼は自分に向けて言った。Damn! <laughs> that must be some daiquiri over there. Huh? It's delicious! Thank you very much. This is not a salt, but it's very delicious. So Hemingway, you know, 
the famous author, he was a diabetic, but he also loved crushing daiquiris all day. So when he, when his doctor was told that he couldn't um, have any more sugar, he kind of invented the Hemingway daiquiri, which, you know, he doesn't have any added sugar, but it does have sugar because grapefruit has sugar, and so does the maraschino uh, liqueur. Ja. やっぱりヘミングウェイもこんなストローで飲んでたんですかきっとただしフローズンカクテルにストローが2本入っているのは氷が詰まった時の予備で男女が一緒に飲むためではありません<笑> It was also for Ernest Hemingway to drink it twice as fast Well anyways, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it If you want me to review more anime bartending shows like this Please let me know in the comments below and if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.